Hello, Facebook, and happy Wednesday. Oh my, or two, it's Tuesday. I thought it was Wednesday because we usually have our team calls on Wednesday, but we had it on Tuesday night tonight. That is why I am a little bit late to this party. I said I was going to be on. Oh, that lighting is much better. We're going to do it right there. Okay. And I'm going to just stand in front of that. So, um, I had posted earlier that I was going to go live and talk about a question I have been getting so much since I posted my um, story last um, last Thursday. So I'm going to go ahead and um, share this really quickly. My lighting is so weird. I am going to be working on a new spot to do um, my live videos and my recorded videos so that I have better lighting. But for now, you guys are getting what you're getting. So if you guys are jumping on live, say hello. Let me know where you're coming from. Um, how's your day going? How are things going? Tonight, I'm going to be talking to you guys about self-love, self-acceptance, body acceptance. How do you go from always wanting to constantly be better, constantly be smaller, constantly be leaner, constantly be looking at all of these things that we have going on in our society and love yourself at the same time while you um, while you are, sorry, I got a text message, of course. Every time you go live, you get a text, you get this, you get that, you know, it just happens. So, so the number one question that I have gotten since I um, posted my story on my page, if you guys missed that, the story is, is um, pinned to the top of this page, and I talked about how I um, have been Adderall through, out of all three Adderall free for 369 days um, I for two years Adderall controlled my life and I grasped a hold of that and am now pretty much over a year clean from Adderall and I had a lot of acceptance to do with myself on that journey and so the number one question I'm beginning you guys have been messaging me like crazy asking me so many questions especially about um, like, how do I love myself? How do I accept myself? How do I accept my body for where I'm at right now and still keep going on my journey? And so I thought I would come on live and kind of answer some of your guys' questions along with give you guys my top tips on how um, you can also take these tips with you and run with them. And also, um, I just want to make sure that this live video is working real quick. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys my top tips on self-acceptance, self-love, how you can start out on this journey and how you can actually get to a point where you can work on yourself, but you are not feeling overwhelmed or negative or just, you know, constantly focusing on what you are not and actually like loving the journey. Cause I used to hear that all the time and I'm like, I don't freaking love this journey. I just want it to be over and I want to be where I'm at right now. Um, so I'm going to get into that in just a second. If you guys have any questions while I um, am talking, just post them below and I will get them answered either at the end or um, while I'm going. So first things first, let's talk about self-love and self-acceptance. You can totally, totally, totally work on yourself while you you are working towards a goal, whether that be a weight loss goal, whether that be you just want to be a better person, whether that be you are trying to get over um, an addiction or anything like that. You can accept yourself, you can love yourself, and you can still move on a journey while you're doing that. It doesn't have to be about beating yourself up. It doesn't have to be about being negative 24 seven. You can love yourself where you're at, where you are now, and uh, if you can accomplish that, then moving forward and creating progress is so much easier. I am sorry, you guys. My lighting is like super, super horrible. Let me turn this one off and move it down and see if that will help us a little bit. I'm really ready to move this whole situation. Actually, we'll leave it on. This whole situation around for sure. But, okay. So I did take some notes. So first of all, rule number one, you are number one. You have to remember this. No matter what part of your journey you are on, 
you have to remember that starting a journey that starting a self acceptance love to starting a self love journey whatever it is body love whatever they all in my opinion they all roll under one category so starting that you need to remember that you are number one if you put yourself first you are going to be able to put everybody else first in your life you're going to um you know putting yourself first and giving yourself the time you're going to be able to be a better mom a better employee a better wife um, all of those things that you are, all of those labels, all of those, um, I can't even think of the word I want to say right now, but all of those roles that you play, that's what I was thinking of, you have to put yourself first or you cannot be the best mom, you can't be the best wife, you can't be the best friend, the best sister, all of those things. And it took me a really long time to learn that, that I had to put myself first and actually take care of myself first in order to move forward. Um, so... I have 10 tips to give you guys on self-love, self-care, self-acceptance. And number one is you need to make a decision right now that you're moving forward. That you are no longer that person that you were yesterday or an hour ago or a minute ago. You're done. You're drawing a line in the sand and you're going to move forward. Not only are you going to move forward, but you're going to move forward into love and not fear. So you're going on this journey and you're not going to be fearful of what's going to happen if you don't do this, this, and this, and this. You are going on a journey of trusting yourself, of believing in yourself, of looking at the positive and not the negative. I know some of this you guys are going to think is like a lot of woohoo stuff, but I'm like, stick with me. I have a lot of tangible tips, I promise. Um... The next thing is, is you need to, number two, my number two tip is taking baby steps every day. So don't think that all of these things that I'm going to share right now, you don't need to dive in 100% and go balls to the wall because that will just wear you out. I teach my challengers this. I teach my clients this. I teach you guys this as much as I can talk out of my mouth is taking it one step out of the t at a time. I'm going to share with you guys 10 things, 10 tips. Maybe you guys take one tip for 10 weeks and you implement it. You end up implement, in, implement, I don't know what my issue is. Implement one thing at a time, one week at a time, and over 10 weeks, then you have 10 new habits or you have 10 new things that you implemented and you are on a new path of self-love. Um, you have to remember that this is a journey. It's going to be never ending. There's always gonna be things coming up that you don't like about yourself, that you wanna change about yourself. We're constantly growing. And so accepting that is probably the, the biggest thing of moving forward. So taking baby steps every day, but making sure that you're showing up for yourself every day, making sure that you know that rule number one, you're number one, and you're gonna move forward. Okay, so number three, my third tip for you guys is to create a morning ritual. Um, and, you know, as I was writing this, I was thinking you don't necessarily have to do this in the morning. But create some kind of ritual where you wake up in the morning and you have some time for yourself. And for me, I like to journal. And I think you could do this by journaling. You could do this by just talking to yourself. You could do this by meditating, whatever it is. But there's two things I would create. I would create an I am practice. This is speaking out loud, writing it down, your I am list. Um, whatever it is that you want to be, whatever it is that you want to feel. My, my I am list is a lot about feelings. Um, I actually had um, talked about this a lot of, at the beginning of the year, and it's right in my desk because I love it. But the desire map, I read this and went through this entire book um, at the beginning of the year. And I, I figured out what my desired feelings were. And so every single morning, I write those desired feelings out. And I have no problem sharing with you guys. Like I write out, I am fearless, I am peaceful, I am passionate, I am empowered, and I am vibrant. Those are my top ones I write out. And then I keep going. Things I want to accomplish. I talk about the way I want to feel. I am, you know, an amazing mom. I am an amazing wife. Whatever it is that you're feeling at the time, just write out an I am list. Even if it's like, you know, just a couple things long. Make sure you write that out. Stand in front of a mirror. Say your I am list to yourself. I know it sounds silly, but you guys, these things are the things that changed my life. They're the things that I did to get over the, the hump and the spot that I was in. Um, I literally knew that I had to 
I was going to have to gain a bunch of weight in order for my body to heal and then I was going to be able to lose that weight again. And so these are the things that these are the tips that I used in order to do that. Um, the next thing is, is wake up with gratitude every single morning, whether you wake up and you think it in your head, you write it down, whatever it is. I um, write down every single morning at least three things that I am grateful for, and I actually just got challenged to do 10 things and do 10 new things every single day. So, you know, you don't have to go to that extreme, but maybe you're going to just take three things every single day that you're grateful for and you're going to write them down. So three new things, and they could be as simple and easy, but as you, um, you know, it, doing that is going to start your day off so much better. And if you ever find yourself in rut, which I'm going to talk about, like being negative, negative self-talk, ne negative whatever it is, pause yourself and sit down and say what you're grateful for right now. If you find yourself in a negative situation in life that you just can't control but you just can't stop thinking of, stop yourself and say three things that you're grateful for right away and your attitude will change in a, in a moment. Um... So the number four tip that I have for you guys is doing a social media cleanse. Cleanse all of the stuff that you're looking at. If you have a bunch of people popping up on your social media that are just like stresses you out, like you look at this girl that has the abs and has this and whatever and seems to have the perfect life, pause, remember that you're only seeing a highlight reel of things. You do not know what's going on behind the scenes and I'm one to say that. Um, so remember that and take a step back and if it's causing you to get anxiety, if it's causing you to have like negative thoughts about yourself or it's causing you to like, um, have hatred thoughts about that person, just unfollow them. Like stop looking at them. Just do a complete social media cleanse, get rid of those people and move on with your life. Start putting people in your newsfeed or in your Instagram feed or whatever it is that are going to empower you, that you feel good about, that make you smile. If you look at that person and it makes you smile and it makes you happy and it motivates you, great. If you start comparing yourself, get rid of them. It's it's okay. Like, just move on. Um, number five is ditch the negative self-talk. Stop talking negative to yourself. This is harder than it sounds. Um, but just know that when you have like become very self-aware so when you start talking negative to yourself turn around and make that a positive thing right away there was something that i heard and i don't remember the whole how it all worked but it was like a year ago around this time about every negative thought you have you have to have 10 positive thoughts to cancel that negative thought out so if you're saying something negative to yourself like i am fat turn it around like we don't even use the f word in my house just to be honest with you guys so turn that around and say something else 10 times to yourself, whether it be in your head or it be it out loud, how crazy it sounds. Stop yourself and say it. Stop yourself when you're having those negative self-talks. Be proud of yourself and, you know, maybe make a gratitude list about yourself and the things that you're grateful for. I know I get into that rut too. Um, if you get comp compliments about something, for instance, and I'm really good about like relating things to stories. So if you guys, I go on a lot of tangents about stories and about my experiences because that's the only way I know how to teach you guys is like I get a lot of compliments on my legs and a lot of times I don't even like notice my legs. I don't even focus on them. I think about something else. And so I started making it a thing about a month ago where I would be grateful for my legs and actually like look at them and say, yeah, they do look good. Instead of focusing on the things I wanted to change that weren't changing, I was focusing on the things that I already have right now. Um, the next thing is, is you have to do the work. So you have, number six is you have to do the work. You have to put in the personal development that you need to do in order to um, love yourself more, have self, self acceptance, to have body acceptance, to have all of that good stuff. And the way that I do that is either by reading books, listening to podcasts, listening to books, listening to YouTube. There's tons and tons and tons of free things on YouTube um, and podcasts that you can listen to that will help you get that positive mindset and will help you change your, um, you know, will show you what self-love is, will, will help you bring your mind 
to where you want it to be. And if you guys need suggestions on those, I can give you suggestions. Just send me a private message and um, you know, let me know what you're going through and I can give you suggestions on that. Three books that I have been suggesting since I um, talked about my video uh, or I released my story last Thursday are Gabrielle Bernstein, The Universe Has Your Back. That, if you are going through anything at all, this book is amazing and it will help you through that. The other one is The Gift of Imper Imperfections by Brene Brown. That one I haven't read in a while, but um, really helped me a few years ago. And then You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero is a great book if you're just looking to uplift yourself a lot. Um, I listen to a lot of my books. I really, really read my book. There's two authors that I like to read from, and that's Mike Dooley and um, Danielle Laporte, which she wrote The Desire Map. I'm reading her other book right now, The White Hot Truth, and it's so good. It is so hot in here. I don't even know what is going on. Okay, number seven is The Mirror Challenge. So this is something that I did for a really long time. And um, it really helped me with um, my weight gain, with seeing my body change, and then losing the weight, and and loving that process because obviously I wanted I wanted it to happen overnight because I had had it happen overnight before, but that wasn't going to be the case. So there's two parts to this. The one part is stand in front of the mirror and say at least ten things that you're grateful for for your body. Um, write them down, say them to yourself, look at yourself. Do not say one negative thing. You're not allowed to look in this mirror and say a negative thing. You have to talk positive to yourself. Um, the next thing is, is the way that I kind of did this on a daily basis is showing up every day is while I was getting ready, I would get ready in the least amount of clothes that I could have on. So like my kids are running around or whatever, but like a sports bra and shorts or a sports bra and underwear or whatever you can do if you can be completely naked, I would suggest doing that. Like standing in front of the mirror, getting ready and talking to yourself posit like in a positive manner, saying what you're grateful for about your body and also, um, sorry, this, these text messages keep coming up. Saying what you're grateful for about your body and saying your I am statements out loud or in your head. So standing in front of a mirror and getting, you know, vulnerable with yourself and and really getting excited. Put a smile on your face while you're doing it. That'll change everything. Uh, putting a smile on your face while you're doing anything is going to change your demeanor 100%. So if you're thinking negative, smile. Smile and tell yourself something positive and everything is going to change for you, I promise. Um, the next thing is, is actually getting ready in the morning. So a lot of times um, working from home, I tend to not want to get ready, not want to put makeup on, not want to do my hair, not want to take a shower, you know, live in the workout clothes that I worked out in, but that brings my energy levels down. So you want it while you're on this process, you really want to bring your energy levels up and protect them. So do something that is going to make you feel good. If that's getting ready in the morning, that's putting on makeup, if that's putting on these crazy eyelashes that are way too long, um, <laughs> cause I ordered the wrong ones. Do that. If it makes you feel good, do that. And then also buy clothes or wear clothes that makes you feel good. Like don't stress about getting into those clothes that you don't fit into. I did a video about this a while ago. Um, put on the clothes that make you feel good, that make you feel confident when you put them on. You know you have that outfit and you have probably a bunch of clothes that don't make you feel good. Get rid of those clothes and only buy the clothes that make you feel good, that make you fit. Who the... F cares what size they are. If they make you feel good and they make you confident, do that because that is just going to, that's just giving yourself more self love. It's just giving yourself more body acceptance. Okay, so that was number eight. I'm almost done. Number nine is get moving because your body is going to love you if you get moving. And I'm talking about exercise and I know, but I talked about doing this one thing at a time whether it's just getting up and walking around, that's gonna give you more energy. What I found was when I raised my energy levels, when I raised my vibration and I wasn't sucked into the negativity and the low energy and all of this crap, um, that I felt better. So this is, you guys, I don't necessarily like to work out every day, but I know it makes me feel better and I know that it increases my energy and then I know that when I have high energy, I feel better about myself and my day is so much better. Um, this was something that I knew when I gave up um, do, 
taking my Adderall that I was going to have to do this because I needed the energy. And this is probably one thing that I stuck to every single day, whether if I was laying in bed, the first thing I did is I got up and I worked out because I knew that would make me feel better no matter what. So you don't even have to work out. Just get up, walk around. Um, if you're sitting all day, stand up, move around, you know, at least like every 45 minutes to an hour, you need to get up and get moving, get that blood flowing. Cause that's going to raise your energy levels. The next thing, um, the last tip that I have for you guys, and this is, it is unplug, unplug from social media every once in a while, go do something that makes you so happy that you don't have to think about anything. Um, put the devices away, go outside, do something with your family, Stop focusing on all that stuff. I kind of already talked about that, but stop focusing on all that stuff that is like getting into our newsfeed and doing all of this stuff. But find that thing that makes you smile inside and that makes you happy and that makes you not think about all of these negative things about yourself and do it and do it often as, and as often as you can. If you can unplug daily, that's awesome. Um, Otherwise, make a specific day of the week where you're not going to check in. You're just going to do something that you absolutely love to do, whether that be watching Netflix, going outside, doing something with your family. Um, we bought a puzzle yesterday, and we're going to start that and do that as a family every single night. And that is something that's going to make me happy. And and if I'm happy, then you know I start looking at myself in a different aspect. So decreasing your stress level, I guess, is what I'm saying in the end. Okay, so that's all I have for you guys tonight. Um, I practice self-love every day, but I struggle with finding confidence in my shyness and finding friends and building my tribe. It's so backwards. People tell me I'm a cheerleader inspiring, but I can't read all of that. Let me see if I can get it on my computer. I hear you. I'm very shy when it comes to, um, if you meet me in person, I'm a very shy person. Um, I'm, a, I'm an introvert. Or introvert. I can't even talk, you guys. I think I'm done for the day. An introvert for sure. Um, I have social awkwardness for sure and self doubt. But if you continue to push yourself outside of the box, you will get out of that and you will feel a lot better. And I know, Tina, that you're doing everything to do that. So thank you guys for joining me live. Thank you. I hope this. I hope you guys um, took something from this. I am obviously tired because I can't even form my words at this point and it is so hot in here because the fan is off. Um, thank you guys. Um, make sure that you like and subscribe to my video so you see when I go live. And if you guys have any questions for you, me, make sure you ask them because I will be doing my Ask Ashley on Thursday night. I hope you guys have a great night and we'll talk to you later. Bye.